Alistair Overeem versus Augusto Sakai. Wow, what a fight. I liked it. I I don't know about you, but I liked the fight. That uh, Alistair Overeem looked a little overweight when he he usually is a little like a little muscular ripped, but this one he was kind of like kind of chubbyish. So that's kind of worried cuz Alistair Overeem I actually like him as a fighter. He I've seen him forever since the Pride days and yeah. Augusto uh, Sakai is just I, I didn't expect that kind of performance from him. The first two rounds were extremely close. Sakai looked a little busier because he was throwing a lot of punches, but he wasn't really landing him. So I give, you know, a draw, draw round to rounds one and two. Third round was more of the same until at the end of the third round, <clears throat> Alistair Overeem got the takedown. And he, uh, Overeem has underrated ground and pound. Underrated ground and pound. He has freaking... Awesome elbows and his freaking hammer fist from the top, bar none, it's one of the greatest. And yeah, he started to put it towards him. And then the fourth round, <clears throat> it was kind of an even fight. And then Overham got the takedown around the middle to halfway of the fourth round and landed some brutal ground and prown. Brutal! That just, it should have stopped the fight. But Sakai is one tough mother effer. I gotta give him that because. Alistair Overeem gave him everything. Oh, why did I stop this? But he, he gave him everything, yo. So anyway, at the end, he was so tired that... But at the start of the fifth round, Alistair Overeem went for the takedown. Brought it down. Five straight non-guarded punches. Sakai just couldn't take it. He just gave up. And yeah, Alistair Overeem got the win with ground and pound TKO. It was fantastic. I love Overeem. And... I think he's one more fight away for fighting Stipe Miocic or whoever is the champion because Overeem is just one of the greatest championship fighters that has never had a championship in the UFC heavyweight division. And I kind of feel sad for him because Overeem should have won a championship a long time ago, but he didn't. So, yeah. Anyway. Great win over him, Sakai. He's got a future, but he just needs to... He was kind of wild, and he wasn't really accurate with his punches or strikes. And Yeah, I think Sakai has a future. He just needs to refine all his skills. Over him. One more fight. If he wins one more fight, he should fight for the title. That's all I got. Great fight. Fight night was awesome. And I'll see you all later. Bye.